Hi guys, uh, this is just going to be a quick continuation video number three of, of the series on router bits. But this is going to be about the template guides. Now, before you watch this one, before you watch it all the way through, go back and watch video number seven. That's where I showed you how we cut these patterns that we make for the different shapes. And uh, on that video I showed you not only how I cut the pattern, but the pattern screws and how we use them. And I'll show you a little bit about that on this one. This is a pattern screw. And we, we use these so that when they're in there, then they hold to the patterns, to the wood. So this is, this is what I want to show you on this video. So just uh, go back and watch video number seven and you'll see everything that you need to know to cut these shapes. And I'm just going to do a little bit more about what we use to cut them. So we'll, uh, we'll start by showing the router base and how we hook up these template guides to the router base. Okay. Now this is a this is a router bit that we don't normally tout on the on the videos. This is a straight it's not a straight flute, it's a spiral flute, but it's a straight cutter. It's a quarter inch and it's two flute and it's done as made especially for cutting when we're when we're going to cut on the edge where we're cutting our different shapes and our different patterns. This is the one that we use. Uh, it's not available on the website yet, although it will be shortly. But we have these available if you know if you want to buy them. But it's a standard bit, and it's a type of thing that you can buy nearly any place that sells router bits. They might have a straight flute, but you want to use a you want to use a spiral upcut flute. So if you want to know what this flute is, it's a spiral quarter inch, and it's called upcut. Uh, so if you go out to try to buy one of these. Commercially, you can you can find them. Uh, find them online, but be sure you get the upcut. They work the best. Okay, here's uh, here we go on the on the template guide. Now, you'll notice that I'm going to show you several different sizes of template guides here, and the reason you can use different sizes is because it'll give you different sizes of the boards. What will happen is that your your cutter will be offset more and more on the bigger the the template guide you use but the one that we use for most of our cutting i just wanted to show you those you probably won't use those much this is the one we use for most of our cutting is this one it's a 3 8 template guide that 3 8 means that the outside diameter here is 3 8 the inside diameter where the cutter comes through is a quarter inch now the way we use these You'll have to visualize this as being the base of your router, which is really what this is. We just took it off of the router so that you could see a little more accurately how it goes in. This fits into the base of the router, and there's a nut. This, this comes when you buy the, the template guide set or the individual template guide. You always get this nut, and you can tighten this up. You, it's, it's knurled, that is, it, it's got knurls around here so that you can grip it and you don't get it pretty tight, but if you want to use water pump pliers and just sort of snug it up, you don't have to get it super tight. And then we're assuming that your router bit is in your router, and if you watch, it comes through. Now this is again is three eighths, and the router bit is a quarter inch. Now the pattern goes on top of the wood, and you set your router bit depth so that it, when you're your pattern guide is riding on your pattern. You can see it here very clearly. It's riding on your pattern, and the tip of the router bit is just down below the wood that you're cutting, and this is where you want your setting to be. Now, again, you watch video number seven, and you'll see we use some sort of a scrap underneath the wood where this router bit cuts into it, but it doesn't matter. It's just a piece of scrap plywood, or you can even use cardboard. So that's, that's how you use this router bit template guide. And that's, uh, I just wanted to show you 
a little bit more detail that I didn't show you on that video number seven. And that's really all there is to it. It's, uh, this, is, this is a router bit guide, and this is a nut that goes on it. And you have three different, you, have, you can have up to 10 different sizes. And the bigger you go with this diameter here, the further out the cutter will be, of course. And that means the bigger the board will be, that you're, the bigger the pattern will be, or the, uh, the final board that you're cutting, the bigger it will be. But I like to tell you to stay with the 3 8 and stay with the quarter inch router bit. And that's what we design our patterns for. Just a quick final note. Uh, our website, great info for you too. Uh, you'll see all kinds of links to it. Uh, we have just recently started Dave Signs Video Club. And if you want to go onto our website and subscribe, just fill out the form and, and subscribe to it, and then you become a preferred member. Doesn't cost anything. Uh, you can always opt out if, uh, if you don't want to be in it anymore. But as a preferred member, there will be times that we'll make a video that we won't post on YouTube for one reason or another. It just won't be on YouTube but it will be available to our video club members. So I just wanted to, just wanted to let you know about that. Go ahead and check it out. If you want to, uh, if you want to be a member, just fill out the form and then uh, we'll be notified by email and you'll also get a free video uh, that is not available on YouTube. It, it's a video just on, uh, on our, our routed signs. Uh, so just want to touch bases on that and when you go to YouTube and you'll be watching this on YouTube when you go to YouTube be sure and subscribe so that you'll be notified every time we post a new video. That's it guys. Bye.